leader. Target is painted. Copy that. Package is away. Direct hit. Bogey, six o'clock. He's got a lock on. Tom Clancy games have long had a history of strong multiplayer, but Hawks isn't like other games in the Tom Clancy series. Captain Mitchell, this is Jester. This air combat game will trade in silenced handguns and sniper rifles for F-22 Raptors and stealth bombers. But even with a new altitude, you can still take comfort in knowing that Hawks will still be sporting some co-op and team deathmatch multiplayer options. Come on, baby. Co-op allows you to play any of the game's single-player missions with up to four players. I've got Tally and Artemis fighters dead ahead. I'm rolling in. Right behind you, Casper. Let's light them up. You'll fly all over the world, from the Middle East to Brazil to various locations in the United States, like New England and Chicago. Though the controls are accessible and the airplane physics are extremely generous, allowing you to pull off maneuvers that would leave most pilots sick or outright dead in real life, there's a good bit of strategy required to co-op. Outstanding work, Hawks. The Artemis jamming network is completely offline. You'll need to balance your squad between offensive and defensive teams during escort missions and air and ground squads during those missions when tanks and trucks become a threat for you. The enemy's out of perimeter and are advancing on the objective. Copy that. Enemy forces are withdrawing towards the city center. Watch for ambushes. All units, this is Citadel. I'm showing about 25% of the enemy forces have been knocked out. Keep up the pressure. On the other side of the coin is 8 player online team deathmatch. The goal here is simple, you split up into blue and green teams and try to kill the other guys. Easy right? Well, not always. As players build their kill streaks, they unlock team support items. These are basically power ups that quickly move things in or out of your favor. A few examples include a radar suppression that removes any indication of your team from an enemy's HUD. Repair drones that fix your damaged jet. Altitude restrictions that force enemies to fly low, and an EMP blast that wreaks havoc on electrical systems and often sends enemies into a nasty freefall. Enemy support element expired. Everything you do in Hawks, whether in single player, co op, or multiplayer, will earn you XP that benefits you in each mode. You earn these points for basic feats like single kills and assists, but you can really rack them up in bunches with challenges like deflecting 10 missiles in a single match and stuff like that. In multiplayer, earning XP will unlock new jets and missiles for use in battle. So while you'll begin the game with a so old it's practically steampunk Russian MiG-21, you'll eventually unlock much nicer jets like the F-22 Raptor. It's a pretty cool system that takes that Call of Duty 4 influence and launches it thousands of feet into the sky. Another fun part of multiplayer are the post-match awards. There are obvious ones like Assassin, the player that does the most damage during a match, and Lifeguard, the player who deflects the most missiles, but others include Iceman, the player who recovers from a stall the closest to the ground, and Stuntman, the player who crashes the most. Taken on their own, these awards don't do much, but they do provide a nice chance to razz teammates after a match and have a little bit of fun. Ox is scheduled for release next month on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC with a Wii version in the works as well. You can expect to see our review in the next couple weeks.